Welcome to Garden Bound. Today, we're unveiling a secret water source that can transform your garden, rainwater harvesting. Did you know you can significantly reduce your water bills and ensure your plants thrive at the same time? Let's dive into this sustainable solution. In this video, we'll explore the benefits of this secret water source, how to set up your system, and tips for maximizing your garden's potential. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below with your rainwater harvesting experiences or questions. Rainwater harvesting is a powerful method for conserving water and reducing reliance on municipal water supplies. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, an average home can save up to 1,300 gallons of water during the peak summer months through rainwater harvesting. This substantial water conservation not only helps in reducing the strain on public water systems, but also translates into significant cost savings for homeowners. By using rainwater for irrigation, household water bills can be considerably lowered, especially in areas with high water rates or during times of drought when water restrictions are in place. For instance, a gardener in California implemented a rainwater harvesting system and reported saving approximately $200 annually on water bills thanks to reduced reliance on municipal water. This system allowed the gardener to store and use over 1,500 gallons of rainwater throughout the year, which was sufficient for maintaining a lush, thriving garden even during dry periods. The environmental impact of rainwater harvesting extends beyond personal savings. By capturing and utilizing rainwater, homeowners can significantly reduce runoff, which helps prevent soil erosion, reduce the burden on stormwater systems, and minimize the risk of flooding. Additionally, conserving water resources through rainwater harvesting supports sustainable water management practices, helping to preserve freshwater ecosystems and mitigate the effects of water scarcity. Understanding rainwater harvesting systems involves knowing the key components that make up a basic setup, the catchment area, conveyance system, storage, and distribution. The catchment area is typically the roof of a building, which collects rainwater. This water is then directed through a conveyance system, usually consisting of gutters and downspouts, into a storage unit. Storage tanks vary in type and material, including plastic, metal, and wooden tanks. Each type has its pros and cons. Plastic tanks are lightweight, corrosion resistant, and easy to install, making them a popular choice for many gardeners. However, they can degrade over time when exposed to UV light. Metal tanks, often made from galvanized steel or stainless steel, are durable and can last many years, but they may be prone to rust if not properly coated or maintained. Wooden tanks, while aesthetically pleasing and environmentally friendly, require more maintenance to prevent rot and may not be as durable as plastic or metal options. To illustrate, consider a simple rainwater harvesting system set up in a suburban garden. The roof of the house serves as the catchment area. Rainwater flows from the roof into the gutters and downspouts, which are fitted with filters to prevent debris from entering the storage system. The water then flows into a large plastic storage tank situated in the garden. This tank is connected to a distribution system, which includes a hose and a drip irrigation setup allowing the gardener to efficiently water plants using the harvested rainwater. This setup not only provides an eco-friendly solution for garden irrigation, but also demonstrates how easily accessible and cost-effective rainwater harvesting can be. By understanding the components and specifications of a rainwater harvesting system, gardeners can make informed decisions about the best materials and methods to use, ensuring they maximize the benefits of this sustainable practice. Setting up your rainwater harvesting system involves careful preparation and methodical installation to ensure efficiency and longevity. Preparation. Before diving into the setup, start by assessing your roof and gutter system. Ensure they are in good condition and suitable for collecting rainwater. Look for any damages or areas where debris accumulates as these can affect the quality of the harvested water. Your roof material is also important Metal roofs are ideal for collecting rainwater, while asphalt shingles can introduce contaminants. Step 1. Choose an appropriate storage tank based on your garden size and water needs. Storage tanks come in various sizes and materials, including plastic, metal, and wooden tanks. For a small garden, a 55-gallon barrel might suffice, while larger gardens might require several hundred gallons of storage capacity. Installation. Follow these steps for installing your rainwater harvesting system. Step 1. 
install a first flush diverter. This device removes the initial flow of rainwater, which typically contains the most debris and contaminants. By diverting this initial runoff away from the storage tank, you ensure cleaner water enters your system. Step 2. Connect the gutter to the storage tank using pipes. Ensure that the pipes are securely attached and have a slight downward slope to facilitate the flow of water into the tank. Use PVC pipes for durability and ease of installation. Step 3. Set up a filtration system. This can include mesh screens over the gutters to catch large debris, as well as finer filters within the pipes or at the tank inlet to remove smaller particles. These filters help keep the water clean and prevent blockages. Step 4. Connect a distribution system to efficiently water your plants. This can be as simple as attaching a hose to a spigot at the bottom of the tank or more complex, like installing a drip irrigation system that automatically waters your garden. Drip systems are particularly effective as they deliver water directly to the plant roots, minimizing water waste and ensuring optimal hydration. Maximizing the efficiency of your rainwater harvesting system requires regular maintenance, strategic watering practices, and seasonal adjustments to ensure optimal performance. Maintenance. To keep your rainwater harvesting system functioning efficiently, regular maintenance is crucial. This includes tasks such as cleaning gutters and checking for leaks. Gutters should be cleaned at least twice a year, preferably in spring and fall, to remove leaves, twigs, and other debris that can block water flow and introduce contaminants into your system. Additionally, inspect all connections and pipes for leaks or signs of wear and repair them promptly to prevent water loss and maintain the system's integrity. Example. A practical example of maintenance is ensuring that the first flush diverter is functioning correctly. This device captures the first few gallons of runoff, which typically contain the most contaminants, and diverts it away from the storage tank. Regularly emptying and cleaning the first flush diverter ensures it operates effectively, providing cleaner water for your garden. Watering tips. When using harvested rainwater in your garden, it's essential to follow best practices for watering. Watering early in the morning or late in the evening is ideal because cooler temperatures reduce evaporation, allowing plants to absorb more water. According to research, watering during these times can improve water efficiency by up to 50%. Additionally, using a drip irrigation system can further enhance water efficiency by delivering water directly to the plant roots, minimizing waste. Data. Studies have shown that watering in the early morning, before 10 a.m., or in the late afternoon, after 4 p.m., results in better water absorption and less evaporation. This practice not only conserves water, but also helps prevent plant diseases that can thrive in damp, humid conditions often found when plants are watered in the late evening. Seasonal Adjustments Adjusting your rainwater harvesting system according to the seasons is essential for maintaining its performance. In the spring and summer, when rainfall is more frequent, ensure that your storage tanks are large enough to capture and store excess water. During these seasons, you may also need to check the system more frequently for any blockages or issues due to increased debris from blooming plants. In contrast, in the fall and winter, it's crucial to prepare your system for colder temperatures. This might involve insulating your storage tanks and pipes to prevent freezing and potential damage. Additionally, you might consider diverting water away from the tank if it's likely to overflow or if freezing is a concern. By implementing these maintenance routines, watering practices, and seasonal adjustments, you can maximize the efficiency of your rainwater harvesting system, ensuring a reliable and sustainable water source for your garden year round. Addressing common concerns and misconceptions about rainwater harvesting is essential for encouraging more gardeners to adopt this sustainable practice. Safety. One common concern is whether rainwater is safe for use in gardening. Studies and expert opinions generally affirm that rainwater is highly beneficial for plants. Unlike tap water, which may contain chlorine, fluoride, and other chemicals, rainwater is naturally soft and free of many of these additives. According to the University of Arizona, rainwater can improve soil pH and reduce salt buildup, which is particularly advantageous in arid regions with alkaline soils. Data. Research from Texas, A and M University states, highlights that rainwater is often superior to municipal water for irrigation because it is slightly acidic, which helps plants absorb nutrients more efficiently. Additionally, a study published in the journal Water Research 
found that rainwater generally has fewer contaminants compared to surface water sources, making it a safer option for watering edible plants when proper collection and storage methods are used. Legal Considerations There are also legal concerns regarding rainwater harvesting. While it is legal in many places, some regions have restrictions or specific guidelines that need to be followed. For instance, Colorado historically had stringent laws due to water rights issues, but legislation passed in 2016 now allows residents to collect up to 110 gallons of rainwater. Similarly, in Utah, residents can collect up to 2,500 gallons of rainwater without registering, provided they adhere to state guidelines. By understanding and addressing these common concerns and misconceptions, gardeners can feel more confident in implementing rainwater harvesting systems, contributing to water conservation and sustainable gardening practices. Rainwater harvesting is a simple and effective way to conserve water, save money, and promote a healthy garden. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Garden Bound for more gardening tips, and share your experiences or questions about rainwater harvesting in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy gardening.